What's up, Muscle and Strength? Uh, we uh, just parked in the grocery store parking lot, about to run in there and grab food for the next like day, day and a half. We're gonna get uh, steak, fish, all the seasonings and stuff I use to prepare the steak and the fish. This is by far my favorite vegetable, especially on prep, just for the flavor. Eat a lot of onions on prep, I eat a lot of like bell peppers on prep. Um, a lot of cilantro too. So like I said earlier, if you can't stick to a bodybuilding diet because your excuse is, oh my God, it gets so boring doing the same thing over and over and over again, you're just being lazy, <laughs> straight up. Get some diced onions, diced green onions, got cilantro, I need an avocado. So I'm prep, I'll go to the grocery store, usually pretty much every day, honestly, at the bare minimum every other day. So this is honestly kind of like a typical cart for me and it'll be a typical bill just cause you know, I'll go, I'll buy two days worth of food. I just, uh, I'm prep the last couple weeks, man. I just like getting into the swing of things to the point where I try to make it Groundhog Day to where my routine's like the same every single day. So like, you know, going to the grocery store every single day just becomes part of it. and. You know, this is my job and that's what helps me get my job done the best in my mind. It's what helps keep me least stressed is having that routine. So uh, there's worse things than having fresh food every day and going to the grocery store every day in case I forgot something. So, yeah. So this is uh, definitely not an on-prep thing. It's more of an off-season thing. I really like uh, this brand specifically. So if you can find this brand specifically, but uh, like yogurt dressings, um, not a ton of fat because they're yogurt based. Um, so they're not a ton of hydrogenated oils or any of the other bullshit you typically get in salad dressings and you know two tablespoons which is you know more than I use only has 45 calories so big fan of this stuff they got in a couple different flavors um, I'm a big like taco bowl person so like you'll see like what I do with the fish I basically make like like taco bowls with it so you'll see how I do that whenever we do it but that's what that's for Getting uh, oats for the hotel. I'm gonna kind of do like a uh, typical grocery trip so y'all can see what it ends up adding up to. So I'm just kind of buying all the stuff I'll typically buy when I go to the store. So cooking sprays, as far as cooking sprays go, I like using avocado. It's got a high uh, smoke point and it's a healthy nut oil, obviously. Um, for the steaks, this is the secret, the ghee butter. Helps you get a really nice crust, gives it a really nice flavor. Um, and a lot of really nice restaurants they will actually use that to like cook their steaks. So we're gonna get the uh, seasonings for the steak and the fish. Yeah, so for the steaks, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, coarse ground sea salt, coarse ground black pepper, uh, garlic powder, and then I like actually putting a little bit of Tony's on it. Black peppercorn grinder, sea salt grinder. Seasonings are really important, and then not only are the seasoning important for taste, but especially with the uh, garlic powder and the uh, Tony's, it actually really helps get that crust that I'm going for on the steaks. I'm a freak about having a good uh, crust on my steak. So um, now for the fish, where is a garlic salt? There it is. It's my first day. Oh. Messing up. You're making me nervous, man. So smoked paprika literally tastes like barbecue sauce in powder form. For those of you that don't know, barbecue sauce has a lot of smoked paprika in it. It's calorie free, it's sodium free. So this is a big one for those taco bowls that I like to eat. So the other two things I really like putting on the fish are gonna be down here. And uh, we're in Texas, so I don't know if y'all have these if you're up north or anything. But the Fiesta enchilada seasoning 
and the Fiesta Extra Fatty uh, Taco Seasoning. These are both really good in those little like fish taco bowls I'll show you that I make later. This is the secret to the fish. So this is something that I'll cut out as we get super close. But whenever you put these on top, the, the breadcrumbs, like really lightly on top of the cod in the air fryer, it crisp and it, it's like legitimately tastes like a fish stick to me and I love fish sticks. So I like doing that with like sugar-free ketchup or normal ketchup in the off season too. If I'm not eating uh, rice packs, the kind of rice that I will buy is this rice. And that is Thai jasmine rice. We're gonna throw this in here as a place marker just so we can get an idea about the food bill. I'm gonna get one that says creamy because Ooh. I'm not on diet and I wanna make a really good uh, good fish taco bowl later. Right, we're gonna get this and just use a little bit of it for the spice. Do you have any cod? No. No? Let me get uh, two pounds of the orange ruffy then, please. Of what? The orange ruffy. Audible, like no cod, getting orange ruffy. Still flaky white fish, still works for uh, air fryer fish stick recipe. Thank you. And then, are you steaks too? Sure. Could I get these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven? Steaks five, six, and seven if you're counting from the top? The tenderloin? Thank you so much. Have a great day. Cool. All right, we need peanut butter. And so the steak will be a little higher than it would be just because I bought extra to cook for Michael and for Dan. So it'll be good, really good. I've been talking this crust up to Dan. I told him I'm gonna take his camera and he's gonna give a little 30 second review later tonight of my steaks. <laughs> This is the one I like. Yes, I know it still has hydrogenated oil in it. No, it's got palm oil in it. Just kidding, no hydrogenated oil. It is what it is. It's what I like. All right, guys, that was my uh, grocery shopping for like day and a half, two days worth of food for my trip here in Dallas. Hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you subscribe for more content from Muscle and Strength. Me and Dan been rolling around all day. I showed him the Starbucks secret drink, took him grocery shopping, talked up my uh, signature uh, steak cooking recipe pretty, pretty heavily. Let's so see. Let's, see, let's, see, let's see what you think. All right, let's do it. One bite. Tell One, me bite. What you think. One bite. Pre cut. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah? Dude, that's a really good stuff. Okay, I was talking about the crust all day. Can you, can you, you know mm -hmm. what I mean by the crust now, now that you had a bite? Honestly, guys, this shows, if you care about how you cook your food, it makes a huge difference. So, props to you, bro.